Wow, if you drilled with those you'd make a hell of a mess of your wall. Morning, how the devil are you? Well, excellent, yes me too, thanks very much for asking. Wandering down to the gym, I've got a session to do on shoulders this morning and then it's back home, jump in the car and I'm on my way to London. Meetings galore at Ikea today, but I also want to go do a little bit of shopping during my lunch break and go and pop my way around the furniture store trying to find myself a bookshelf. I keep getting told off that I've left everything all over the place in the bedroom, so I'm going to try and surprise Susanna with something that will mean I can tidy my space up just a little bit. I don't want to do it too much, I don't want to, to, to feel I'm doing too much, but yeah, if I can kind of make my corner a little bit tidier, I think that might make her happy. Either that or make her go ballistic. We'll find out. Right then, gym complete, bags packed. Let's get in the car and go to London. Didn't know where I'd parked then for a second. Wow, if you drilled with those, you'd make a hell of a mess of your wall. Now, for those of you who don't know, today is uh, the 70th anniversary of the end of the Holocaust. Uh, Auschwitz was liberated 70 years ago today, the end of the Holocaust. This is when millions of uh, Jewish people were killed, murdered, slaughtered, however you want to put it, uh, in, the, in the death tanks and the, the prison camps in Poland and in Germany and in lots of different places. Uh, Auschwitz, like I say, was liberated 70 years ago today. It was the end of the Holocaust. Um, too difficult to talk about, really. Um, it's not the easiest thing in the world to sit and have a conversation about, but it, it's just something to think about, really. There's going to be um, a lot of, you can't really call it celebrations, but a lot of people getting together to think about this particular thing. Um, a little bit later on this afternoon, they're all going to be lighting candles around uh, the UK and I'm guessing around the rest of the world as well. It, I don't know, you just can't really talk about it really, can you? It's, it's not something that you sit down and have a full-blown conversation about. It's something you, you try and question, but you haven't got any answers for. What made them listen to one man and his prejudices? Just... I guess the only thing I could really uh, finish this off with was um, a quote I remember from a book by Elie Weissel, um, a book called Night. Read it, absolutely amazing. There's a quote in there, if I remember, remember this correctly, it is, to forget the dead is to kill them a second time. So here I am then. At IKEA, the wonderful every day. Time to have a meeting with the marketing team and uh, see how this goes. It's uh, all to do with my contract stuff that I do for where I used to work. And uh, these guys are awesome. I've been looking after IKEA Live for quite a long time now. I had a little bit of a hiatus in the middle. I was taking off the contract for a little while. But I'm back on it and um, it's just such a fun contract. It really is. They're so cool here. They're really nice. You go in, they're, they're always really welcoming. They, they know me because I've been here so many times. Uh, Norma, who works on the front desk, is awesome awesome. She's the loveliest person ever. Uh, I pop off, make myself a cup of coffee, uh, sit down, have a read of uh, some of the stuff that's going on in the stores at the moment, read all the newsletters, that kind of thing, have my meeting, go and meet some of the chaps in IT as well. It's going to be, um, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a really good day. Anyway, let's get ourselves into those offices. Right then, homeward bound. As you can tell, it's a bit dark out now. It's been a long day. Really well worthwhile, actually. Really good meeting with the guys at IKEA. Uh, just on the uh, M4 now, driving my way home from Wembley. Uh, got an interesting evening ahead of me tonight as well. Got a lecture that I've got to be at home for, for the course that I'm currently studying. And also, um, I need to do a quick shopping trip as well. We've got no food in whatsoever. So I've no idea what to do for dinner. Ah, oh, blimey. 
the trials and tribulations of living in the first world, eh? So life is good. I have decided what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. It's going to be Meatball Tuesday. I don't know if that's going to be a thing from now on, but Meatball Tuesday is a thing today. I've got all the stuff there. I've also got another little meerkat that we are selling. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll put that on eBay or something like that at the moment because I don't know why, but people are paying a small fortune for them. I got it given to me for free. The last one that I got sold it for 30 quid. So hopefully this one will sell for 3 million. Perhaps, probably not. Anyway, I also got a free coffee, so that makes up for the fact that that won't sell for three million quid. So, uh, thank you for the free coffee, Waitrose. Give me more free coffees every day. You do anyway, so I, I, give me free shopping. That would be nice. Hey, I tell you what, it's been a while since I've done one of these in the vlogs. It's been a long time since I've done one of these full stop. Come on, you on bloody new now. Hello, you now, and everybody who's on you now this evening. Uh, you can all say hello to yourselves. Oh, come on, focus camera, there we go. So we've got Aiden, who's in the room. We've got Sinead, Tish Simmons. Do you know who Tish is? Broom Broom. If you don't know who Tish is, me and Tish have been mates way before Tish was famous. Yes, and now she's famous, and she still can't make any of my videos go viral. But anyway, Broom Broom. Who else have we got here? We've got, um, we've got Sinead in the room. We had Deborah, who was in there. Uh, who else was there? There was, there was a bunch of people has been in the room all through the evening. It's been very nice. I've enjoyed doing this. I might have to do more of these. You now broadcast. I'm going to come off the you now broadcast and go and cook some food. If I don't cook dinner, Zuzana will beat me. She will. Anyway, right. I'll um, chat to you guys in a bit. I'll, I'll chat to you guys in a second. Okay, cool. You're watching Stop Jabbing On. So thumb up the shut up. He's logging here. Stop Jabbing On. Like what up? He's from the UK. Anything but boring Stop jabbing on Starts his day with a 